Myth. You surprise me, son. I did not expect to hear, barely a month into your venture, that you've dealt with our competition. My sources tell me that the hand was weak to begin with, but surely not so weak as to be cut off by a lone knife, even if it is an exceptionally sharp one. I would ask for details in your response. Your last update was terse to the point of causing concern, as is your wont. Did you indeed work alone? And in what way is Windhelm going to be an issue? I recognize that a single month is barely long enough to have made yourself known, let alone garnered a reputation. But what of your progress in the other holds? Time's a strange myth, and your silence worries me. Your mother has been herself again, more than usual. Ranting about a bleeding tower, my son, Azura's chosen, and of all things, dragons. Though for once I'm inclined to believe her about the latter. I've heard many tales from beyond the Velothi Mountains, and I can only ask if things are indeed as she fears them to be. In spite of all of this, I must once again impress upon you the gravity of your task. The balance is tenuous, and you have been well trained to tip it in our favor. I trust that this training has not gone to waste by way of distraction. Again. Mephala cloak you. Master Davin Idros. Myth? I heard that sigh. Are you alright? As alright as can be expected, I suppose. That letter? It was indeed from my father. Undoubtedly through a messenger, thus the secrecy. Given what little you've told me about him, that tone of voice could mean all sorts of things. Indeed. My terseness seems to be something of an issue. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that as... I know you didn't. Let's just say that meeting my father's expectations has always been a challenge. You sound angry. Frustrated, perhaps. Bewildered, maybe. Amused that the man who had me trained to be efficient, silent, and secretive would suddenly find that to be a problem. Especially after I did exactly as he asked. Ha <laughs> uh, A familiar situation. Nothing we do will ever be good enough for the likes of them. And yet we keep trying anyway. It is, admittedly, easier to see it from the outside. The way I can see how things must be for you and for Serana. Especially for Serana. I admit this whole detour has shed an unexpected amount of light on my own situation. If you ever need someone to listen, I would feel bad taking advantage of your shoulder without offering my own in return. You've done a lot for me. Think nothing of it. Actually, no. Think... Think whatever you will of it. I'm grateful. Accept him for your thoughts, mysterious Myth Idros. Unfortunately, I have too many to sell for just one. But I'll give you a discount, provided I can sort them out at all. <laughs> it may take a fair amount of sorting, I'll warn you. And I'm not sure where to begin right now. I suppose I should be thinking of a reply for my dear father, but all I really want is to tuck this into my bag and forget about it while we go look for bows and crack open prophecies. The expectations are that heavy, are they? Heavy and ephemeral. Father doesn't trust me to take any of this seriously. Though, in fairness to him, I have set a precedent for being... distracted. Meanwhile, Mother seems to think I'm the third coming of Inderil Nereva. Bit of an odd set of expectations to be stuck between. On the one hand, I've always been too much. On the other... I've never been, and will never be, enough. Azura. I'll take that septum now. Here. It's an unfortunately familiar sentiment, one that I had plenty of time to contemplate on the very long boat ride here from Shimmerine. Sounds like you hadn't really thought about it before now. I haven't had the opportunity, mostly. Nor the perspective. 
Keep the coin, Syrah. I owe you that much. I owe you more, but... I know the feeling, Myth. I really do. I never had reason to doubt my situation until my own brother stabbed me in the back. Granted, he undoubtedly thought he was doing what was right by protecting the rest of the family from my heresy, but that doesn't mean I forgive him for it. It doesn't make the Thalmor any less wrong. And it doesn't make what they did to me any less abhorrent. Abhorrent is an understatement in your case. I envy your conviction. Perhaps it will rub off on me if we spend enough time together. Whatever's in that letter really shook you up, didn't it? You aren't usually this forthright about anything. It's not a writ, lest you worry. Just a rather a lot of long-winded disappointment. A friend of mine back home would call it projection on my part, at least about not being forthright. I think it's because I haven't been paying attention. To yourself? In fairness, I've had rather an unexpected turn of events to pay attention to instead. One involving a handful of dragons, the heiress of a clan of vampires, and one extremely capable Ultima. <laughs> extremely capable? What was it you said to me after your untimely abduction by the Dark Brotherhood? Flatter me more, Sayo. Don't tempt me, Syra. Oh. <laughs> I suppose I did say I... Perhaps we should talk about that sometime when you haven't just emotionally offended yourself, shall we? That would be a lot for one morning, wouldn't it? Indeed it would. You've been patient with me. The least I can do is be patient with you in return. Thank you, Syrah. Though I do feel a bit bad keeping Serana waiting. Neither of us was stuck in a coffin for the last thousand odd years. Right. Shelve the reply letter for now. You have rather a lot to mull over. I think I will. He's going to be disappointed either way. That's the spirit. Let's go take a few cathartic whacks at whatever bandits decide to make our day, shall we? I'll lead the way. And I'll try to be a little less terse than usual. Brevity is the soul of wit, as they say. It's not your fault if your father can't appreciate that. You realize this makes Bran the most clever of all of us, right? <laughs> Well, do love hearing that noise first thing in the morning. Agreed. Sira? What is it? Can you do something about this weather? Oh, right. Give me a moment. Give it a moment. I will, and I will also keep my eyes peeled for that. Oh, there it goes. Sure enough. That sounds awfully close. Indeed it does. Yet I have no idea where it is. Um, well that makes two of us. This is a wonderful start to the day, isn't it? It might not come down at us. It might, or it might swoop out of nowhere. Which would be just the worst. Indeed. Swooping would be bad. Maybe we've lost it. I don't think so, but I don't know... 
where it might be. Random orc. Oh, is it the, uh, whatever her name was from Windhelm? Nope, but I did find the dragon. Oh! Come on, you bastard. Stop that. Well. Did you just- Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. So, we're in the middle of something. No time to talk. Who's there? Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I'm the- Well, it's if I could actually hit the damn thing. No kidding. Oh. Done and done. In all well. my years, I've never seen such a thing. What was that man doing? You know, I've no idea. He gave me a bow to hold on to. You know, I really should learn that better than to stand this close to you when you do that. You can sort of feel that too, can't you? Are you kidding me? There's another one somewhere. Actually, give me my arrows back. Well, damn. Oh, this is going to be an eventful day. I can already tell. Indeed. Yes, Bran? Oh, well. Where'd you come from? Get him, Bran. That's That'll teach how a you. true Nord fights. Um, what? That is a vampire. Myth? What? Don't just go... <sighs> that man up there wants to see you, I think. Has he been following us? Um, a bit. I think. Someone has. Excuse me? Keep that magic away from me. Never mind. Have you got magic going? I always have magic going. Well, almost always. And that is a ruined arrow. Come on, we've got a lot of ground to cover. I'm on my way. Oh. Zero, wait. Oh, what is it? Your old friends. Um... Here. You mean the Thalmor? I do. Well, good timing. Uh, okay. Alright, what do we do? What do we do? They can't find me. No, they can't. Come on. Uh, this way. It is easier to hear you when you sprint. Right. We're going off the road. Hopefully we can go around them. Okay, I'm keeping up. 
I'm keeping my eyes on them. Okay. Where are they? They're just too alright. Come on. What the- Are you kidding me? What is it? It's Alduin again. Ah, oh, lovely! All of we're on the road again. Myth, they're going to see us. They're not going to see us, Sira. Come on. Are you keeping up? I'm working on it. I think I know where the other dragon was now. Ah, that does sort of figure, doesn't it? Oh, these. What the? Imperial patrol, don't mind them. Okay, not minding. God, you can run forever. Funny what a little adrenaline will do. Here we are. Oh gods. Oh, I hear him. Oh gods, that was close. Are you alright? More or less. Well, I stopped running when I did. I hear him. Now, this is lovely weather, isn't it? Myth? It's alright. Did we outrun the Thalmor? Undoubtedly, in this weather? Now, where is that bastard? Oh, I see him. Before we get too involved, can you do something about this? Rather save my shouts for the battle, but yes. Just give me a moment. All right. Now. We have a dragon to slay. Of course. Here he comes. He's gone into Roar instead. Oh, lovely. This is a bad spot to fire from. Here he comes! Oh, I hear him. I'll bring you down. There he is. Oh, where have you gone? Oh, damn. What have you I'm right here. Leave her alone. I thought we were supposed to be finding a bow today. I've got a bow right here. Granted, I keep missing with it. Ah, oh, we'll get there eventually. Are you alright? Uh huh. Press some guards doing that. Ah. Good, they get a show. Hello. I'm going to put you down. Oh, I have backup. 
Indeed, try not to whack them. I'm doing my best so far. Come on. How many arrows am I going to put in this thing? Well... Kid. Oh. It's really dead then? Oh, well. I seem to be under it this time. Are you alright? Ah, uh, more or less. <laughs> you know, other than having a dragon on top of me. I suppose it could be worse. And I even got some of my arrows back. All right. Let's get out from under that. Uh-huh. All right. Well. Let me try to remember where we're going. We've taken a bit of a detour. Okay. Right, we still need to grab a Briar Heart on our way as well. You might have to listen a bit carefully. Oh, don't worry about that. I am. More than happy to go off the road if it means dodging the Thalmor. Did you just loot a guard? I might have. Why? I had a quiver full of arrows and I can use them. I suppose that makes as much sense as any. You're feeling up to fighting some Forsworn? Uh, <laughs> if we must. I'd rather not, but that is just sort of how the day is going. Yes, Brad? Moon's rising. Already? It seems a bit early for that. Eh, well, it's not a full moon. Excuse me. What was that? I just got... I ran into a butterfly. <laughs> That's close enough. I don't think it is, actually. Where'd you come from? Wish, then? I do. Come and face the Forsworn! I have a death wish for you. I yield. I yield. <laughs> All right. Oh well. You want to go? Come and face the force. Victory is you. We're expecting that, were you? It's nothing. <laughs> Victory for the people is yours. Of I submit. <laughs> Well, how are you doing that? I'm just following the dog Come, closely. Coming. No. Ah. Ah. Well. Well done, Bran. The reach will be ours again. Please don't kill me. <laughs> ah. That'll teach you. Ah. Well, would you look at that? A bright heart. Oh. Excellent. All right. Now we'll be on our way. Mm-hmm. I'd like to get to wherever we're going before sundown, if possible. May not be possible. I suppose we'll see. Oh, I've, uh, I've come down the cliff. Well, and I'm all 
also covered in blood. Wonderful. I'm over here. I figured. Sort of placed your voice and figured you hadn't run off. I think this is around the place that we found Soreen. Oh, lovely. Also, if you don't mind, I might take a moment to wash the blood off my cloak. Hood. Most of me, actually. <laughs> you, uh... Not a bit bloodied, did you? Oh, maybe a bit. Not like I think I won't get more bloody when we go to wherever we're going, but... Gods. <laughs> this is a bit of a mess. <laughs> you, uh... You alright in there? You haven't fallen in? Nope, but, uh, seems Bran thinks the water is nice. <laughs> nope, this is going to need some better scrubbing than I can do right at the moment. Except for my hood. Hood is fine. Alright. Now then. We can just follow the river. Oh, well, lead the way then. You don't mind running around in... Uh, well, that sounded lovely. I may have misjudged. But since I'm already soaked, I might as well. <laughs> oh, this is where we found Serene. Oh. All of the, uh, Dwemer stuff and whatnot? Correct. Sorry, I am still being a bit terse. Oh, it's fine. I do not mind, Myth. Good gods. Okay. Love that. How in the... Oh. Guess where we're going. Where? Toward the wolves. If they go after Bran, they're dead. Mm hmm. I love that we've both just decided that if anything goes after Bran, it's dead. Because Bran is a good boy, isn't he? I. Th now. Obviously, I can't actually see where we are right now, but I feel like this is the right place. I think it might be. Gods, that is disgusting. Sorry. I'm distracted by the state of my gauntlets. <laughs> ah, well, lead the way. Don't like this too much. No? Is there anything particular that you don't like? Oh, I suppose it is a bit eerie to hear the wind howling around like that. Just a bit. Oh, hello. 
What was that? Oh. I'm not hearing spiders, am I? Uh, you might be. Come on. There's a bridge here. Watch your step. Watching? Well... Miss. <laughs> right. I'll watch your step for you. How about that? Oh, dear. That doesn't feel particularly... steady. There's not much over here. Just a bunch of moonstone. Oh, well, that's something at least. That's a... Uh... Uh, I haven't read too many geological tomes on that, actually. Alright, well, back we go. Go! Zira? Oh, God! I'm alright. Well... You're not missing much. Huh. That, uh... Did that rock fall actually hit you? No. Scared the... Scared the oblivion out of me, but I'm fine. Ooh. Come on. Also, washed off most of the blood. Mostly. Who's there? Ah! I knew I heard something. Done and done. <laughs> uh, that was disgusting. I've never been more glad in my life that I'm a Dunner. Why? Because it is unspeakably dark in here, but I can still make out some things like this giant spider in here. Who's there? Oh, you know. Thank you, Serana. I'll teach you. Yeah. Good job, Bran. Oh, would you look at that? Moonstone. Oh, uh, sorry. Ran into you a bit. should know by now that I don't mind. <laughs> uh, right, so you're feeling better. More or less. Still feel like we should potentially have that discussion some other time, though. Mm-hmm. We aren't surrounded by giant spiders in a hole with no way back up. At least, I think. Nope, seems like no way back up yet. Oh, right. What? Can you see me now? Oh, well, certainly. Sort of. Right, well, there's a sp These people were... Why would anyone want to set up camp here? <laughs> uh, you know... 
I don't know. Um, oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Hello? What do we have here? Oh, lovely. There are trolls somewhere around here. Mm. That explains the smell. All right. Uh, hold on. Come back up here. Okay. Why? Oh, just trust me. I love it when you say things like that, Myth. Oh. That explains it. <laughs> and what are you doing? Silly pup. <laughs> you don't pull out the dog voice very often, but when you do... It is... I hope you don't mind my saying this. Absolutely adorable. And that was a lot of rocks. Indeed. Now where... Where what? Where are we and where are we going? It is a bit of a maze down here. Oh. I assume that since you put the torch away, we found the trolls? Um, uh, maybe. Yes. Ah, lovely. I will let you take the first... several shots. Assuming I can actually hit them. Oh. Well, you're ahead of me, I can't even see them. Well... Things are going a bit... Not well. I'm not used to these arrows. What kind of arrows are you using? Standard iron ones. I don't like them. Of course, I'm out of the ones that I'm... I suppose I'll use those. Here they come. Uh-huh. They're not exactly subtle. Any more, Bran? Never mind, I think we've got them. Oh, that's good. Someone down here. Oh. Well. That's good to know. Someone survived the trolls at least. Correct. I'm taking those arrows back. Thank you. Try not to step on any. <laughs> uh, I'll let you know if I kick one. Lovely. Ah. Delightful. What in oblivion? What? Well, there's an elf down here. Paler than any Altmer I've ever seen. Have you seen many Altmer? Oh, I've seen one. <laughs> it 
extremely capable. Come forward. You have nothing to fear here. What's that? I can feel some kind of power from it. Indeed. I can as well. Can you? Uh... No, unfortunately. But... Um... Good evening, Serio. I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. This cave is a temple to Oriel. Oriel, Oriel, Halkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. I'm... sorry? What? Did he just say? Uh... Do you want to handle this? Uh... Did he... he just said he's a Falmer? I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Those twisted creatures you call Falmer, I call the Betrayed. Right. I imagine you know why we're here. Of course. You're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it. But first, I must have your assistance. Well, we don't exactly have a choice. Although I'm curious, how did you know? For the thousands of years I've served as the Chantry's Sentinel, there hasn't been a single visitor here for any other reason. They request Oriel's bow, and I request their assistance. It's been repeated so many times, I can't imagine it any other way. Well, that bodes well. Your sense of humor is a light in these dark times. What type of assistance do you need? I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. <laughs> um... Kill your brother? Not that I can't relate, but why? The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. What exactly did they do? They swept into the Chantry without warning, and began killing everyone without pause. Did you fight back? The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the Betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone, and stormed the Inner Sanctum, where I believe they corrupted Vertha. So you don't even know if he's still alive? He's alive. I've seen him, and something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Okay, that's not... foreboding at all. Have you tried getting into the Inner Sanctum? Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel and an assault on the Betrayed guarding the Inner Sanctum would only end with my death. Fair enough. Uh, Way Shrine? Yes, let me show you. Can you describe what's going on? Well, there's this big... I can only assume Snow Elf ruin in the middle of this pond here. Which he just cast a spell on. So this is snow elf magic. Incredible. Uh... This structure is oh. known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin at the way shrine's center and proceed to the next way shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the arch curate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. 
I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and claim Ariel's bow? I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. Alright. And how many Way Shrines are there? There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. These caves must be massive in that case. Caves? Oh no. The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. And we'll probably need a bit of rest, to be honest. So we need to fill the city at each way shrine. Once you've located a way shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine's basin, as if you've been enlightened. Right. In that case, let us... Uh... Night Paladin, we have come a long way. I think we need a rest before we do this, but then we'll be off. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. We will deal with that... in a bit. Well, let's find a non-troll-infested spot to set up some kind of camp. Like, over here, for instance. <laughs> Why over here? Well, because Knight Paladin Gelibor has his own little place right over there, and I don't feel like... ...intruding. This is a bad spot, never mind. Looking for even terrain? Uh, yes, and also somewhere that isn't... doesn't have troll nests in it. There aren't a lot of spots. This is probably the best we've got. Okay. You have bedrolls and whatnot in that pack? I think so. I assume so. <laughs> I'm just the one carrying it. If you ever get tired of that, by the way, let me know. So far, so good. Gods, that was a long day. Indeed. Let's get some rest. And I will... scrub this damn armor. 